Hi friends, today we're going to talk about vitamin D. Now vitamin D deficiency is something that I'm sure you all must have heard about. It's a very common problem that has reached epidemic proportions. The required blood levels of vitamin D is 30 to 100 nanograms per milliliter or 75 to 250 nanomoles per liter. Um, you all must be knowing about rickets. This is what it leads to in children if there is deficiency of vitamin D. It is also commonly called bow legs. In adults, it causes osteomalacia. Uh, in older age, it can lead to osteopenia. And once that becomes more severe, that causes osteoporosis, which is a very dangerous condition where the bones can fracture on its own. Now, if we talk about the common sources of vitamin D, there are many multiple common sources. We'll start with butter. Now, butter is a very good source of vitamin D. One tablespoon provides about 11% of the reference daily in the intake. Then next comes cheese. Depending upon the variety of cheese, one can get up to 30 international units of vitamin D per cup. Yogurt is a convenient and tasty snack, good for the gut. And a fortified variety will get you about 10 to 20% of your daily requirement. Milk is one of the easiest available and the best occurring natural source of vitamin D. It contains many nutrients like calcium, phosphorus and of course vitamin D. It contains about 120 to 130 international units per cup. Then shrimps, unlike other seafood, they are very low in fat which makes them healthy but they contain a good amount of vitamin D that is 152 international units per serving or 25% of your required daily index. Salmon, a very popular fatty fish and great source of vitamin D. The wild caught variety contains about 988 international units of vitamin D per 100 grams. Egg is one of the best source of vitamin D. Each egg contains about 87 international units of vitamin D per 100 grams. And finally mushrooms, a great source for vegetarians. They are the only vegetable to contain, contain vitamin D naturally. They can have up to 26 international units of vitamin D per 100 grams. So this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked what you saw. To continue to see more videos like this, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon. Thank you. For more information, contact Dr. Khiraz Wellness Clinic.